Hey guys, what's up? It is Friday. Had a very stressful day at work, but it was rainy, which I always love rainy work days. I don't know why, it just kind of chills me out a little bit. So it's raining right now. So if you hear a little bit of rain in the background, that's why. On Fridays, I normally have lunch with my mother and she comes into my apartment and takes my dog out for me right before we go to lunch. That's to preface that story. So I come home, my owl crate is there which always makes me kind of flutter a little bit. And my mother has bought me four bottles of wine, Tide detergent and dishwasher detergent. And it's raining outside. And I don't have anything to do tonight. Well, besides open this owl crate and film and post this video. But other than that, my plans are to continue drinking wine because yes, it's 5 p.m. and I'm starting to drink because that's what I do when I hang out with myself on Fridays and catch up on Teen Mom too. Because why not? Because I like the juicy gossip. So anyway, let's open up our April L crate. So this month is head over heels, so it's probably going to be a contemporary. Let's just do this because I'm ready. Okay, so we have one of those pictures that was very uh, popular at one time with on it has this savage song. So it has a lot of the, the books that have been previously in L crate before, but it's a girl and she is holding, it could be anybody's hand, behind this has all the spoilers, so I won't read the back of this just yet, but I will have it handy. First thing I see is Early Bird's Coffee Pen, which as you guys know in all my unboxings, I'm not a huge fan of the pen. I know that they did a survey of would you rather bookmarks or pens, and I'm definitely on team bookmark, so I don't really know what to do with these pens, but I know that they like them and it's their box, they can do what they want. Next thing I see is, let's see, a soy candle for bookworms, Baz and Simon, and I feel like that's from Fangirl, and then they had, uh, what's that second one that Rainbow Row did? Carry On with Baz and Simon, am I completely off? I'm trying to remember. Where's it at? No, I'm looking at, Okay, I'm looking at some of the spoilers while I'm trying to find which one. We partnered up with the wonderful novelty Yours, who created three exclusive candles inspired by some of your lovable couples featuring Rainbow Rowell's novels. Each one smells so delicious. Which one did you receive? Well, I received the Baz and Simon Raspberry one here. I know you can't really see it because the window is pretty bright. It smells very yummy and I have wanted a new candle in my space. I ran out of all my candles. I need to get more but I've already started drinking, so I'm staying in tonight. So we got a nice little candle. I'm never mad at candles. That's one thing I'm never mad at, or the candles. Ooh, and we have some loose leaf tea here. Anna and the French Kiss Chocolate Cherry Bomb. Ingredients, black tea, chocolate, and cherry flavoring. And you get a 20% off promo code for their website here. So very nice. I do love me some tea too. So far this box is knocking out of the park. I mean tea and candles. I think they should just always have that in there. It just appeals to everyone. I wonder if they have the tea here and I'm gonna look at more. Okay. Sip on some Anna and French Anna and the French Kiss inspired tea from the tea spot. You'll instantly feel as though you're roaming the streets of Paris. This tea is a yummy dessert blend of chocolate and cherry. What else do we have in here? And it looks as though we have a keychain from Bookworm Boutique here. The way I feel about him is like a heartbeat, soft and persistent, underlying everything. So there's the little keychain there. It's kind of hard to see in person too, so. Carry a little love around with you everywhere you go with this adorable exclusive keychain designed by Boo Bookworm Boutique. It features the quote from Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda, one of our favorite love stories ever, which I have wanted to read that book. Once I read it, then I will understand this keychain, but it's kind of cool. You know, keychains. It's looking like it's something Pride and Prejudice, which if you guys know, it's one of my favorite books. It looks like it's a headband or socks. Let's see. Ooh, it's that cool headband. I'm gonna put it on. I don't know how to wear headbands. I'm not very good. Good at the whole headband thing. Do I look like I'm about to read your fortune? Maybe. How about, well, now I look rockabilly. Like I'm ready to go to roller derby. Stay warm and well read, wrapped up in Jane Austen's 
Unmatched Wit, this Pride and Prejudice book headband is an exclusive design partnership with Owlcrate. So you get a 10% off code for the entire store as well. So that's pretty cool. So yes, this is a Jane Austen headband, which I will figure out how to use because that's pretty cool. So far, so far you can't go wrong with the candle, tea, the headband. We got a keychain in there. Author of Everland. Everland is back. For those of you who are lucky enough to receive the May 2016 Steampunk Crate, we are thrilled to share a sneak peek of Umberland, which is the second book of the Everland series, which I know nothing about Everland, but maybe I might look into it because we got a little sneak peek of Umberland, which is the second book of the Everland series. So that's kind of cool. So it wasn't an owl crate in the Steampunk one last year, and so we get a little sneak peek of the second book here. To the stars who listen and the dreams that are unanswered. And it's A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass, which I'm in the middle of A Court of Thorns and Roses, and I'm liking it very much. I'm reading a lot per day, which shows you that I must enjoy it a little bit. But I have heard A Court of Mist and Fury is amazing. The third one is coming out, so I'm trying to get on that. So this is a nice little print for A Court of Mist and Fury. Very nice. So I guess all that's left is the book. Am I right? I don't know, you, gotta, you guys don't know. This is what I see. So it may just be the book that's next. Oh, I have seen this all over the interwebs. That's kind of cool. No idea what it's about, but it is from the same author of Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which I've heard is pretty good. Um, I've seen this all over the interwebs, have no idea what it is, so let's open it up and find out. So of course we always get a nice little letter from the author, which this one's really cool. It's handwritten and has a little graphic at the bottom. Again, I won't bore you with everything that this has in here. It does have a signed book plate to put in our books, which is always a really nice touch that Elle Crate does, and a little sticker. We got a little sticker there, doodad. 17-year-old Molly knows all about unrequited love. She lived through it 26 times. She crushes hard, she crushes often, but always in secret because no matter how many times her twin sister Cassie tells her to woman up, Molly can't stomach the idea of rejection. She's just careful. Fat girls always have to be careful. Then a cute new girl enters Cassie's orbit. And for the first time ever, Molly's cynical twin is a lovesick mess. Meanwhile, Molly's totally not dying of loneliness, except for the part where she is. <laughs> Luckily, Cassie's new girlfriend comes with a cute hipster boy sidekick. Will is funny and flirtatious and just might be the perfect crush material. Maybe more than crush material. Okay. And if Molly can win him over, she'll get her first kiss and she'll get her twin back. There's only one problem. Molly's co-worker, Reed... He's an awkward Tolkien super fan with a season pass to the Ren Fair. I've never heard of that. Okay, season pass to the Ren Fair. And there's absolutely no way Molly could fall for him, right? So this just sounds like a little sweet romance contemporary. But I have been in the mood for something like this. Something really easy, light. So, and I've seen this all over the interwebs. I've definitely seen this cover because it is very graphic there. So what is this called? The Upside of unrequited which is kind of a cool name actually the upside of unrequited this seems like a very quick read the font is pretty large i like short chapters because it makes you feel more accomplished you know the chapters aren't that long which i like because i like to read a few chapters a night we got this book obviously and who's the author here Al albertali 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 you know how i am with last names i don't think they have I always know them after I read them for some reason. I feel like I, like I have more of a connection with the author. Nice little letter, a book plate, and a sticker. And with a nice print from A, Course, a Court and Mr. Fury. A Pride and Prejudice headscarf or headband. A nice little candle. It smells yummy. And tea. And a, what is, what are these things called again? A, oh my goodness, keychain. And the little birds, I need to show you guys the little birds. Because they're getting all big and I hear them chirping out there. So they've been born. They've been born. You can't really see, but the mom is out there. So she's obviously feeding them. She, are they awake? Hi, little doodads. Say hi, little dudes. 
Look at the poop barnacle. That's been my favorite part. It's starting to smell real good. Look at them. They just ate and they're all sleepy. Probably one of you is a girl, but you'll forever be my little dudes. So the last thing is, of course, a sneak peek into next month. So the theme is comic explosion. So, and then they said, I think that you get a pop figure, which I actually went on the site and did not order this one because I am not a huge superhero fan. So it just didn't really interest me. And I think I'm going to use that money on another book subscription box. So even though this is a really cute graphic, I'm just not a huge fan of superhero stuff. So I did not subscribe to this box, but watch it be amazing and I totally missed out. Then I could just buy it. See, there's n n you don't lose here. So yeah, it's been interesting having little birds on my wreath. I've heard it's a sign of good luck that the mother trusts my area and is safe in my area. But the poop is getting a little stinky, but I don't wanna touch them by accident. I don't wanna, so I'm, not doing anything with them but they've been, it's been fun seeing them grow i think they hatched two weeks ago and they're already that large so they seem like they should be flying the coop pretty soon so it'll be sad whenever they're gone and then i have an empty nest i'm gonna drink some of this wine back here look at that i'm gonna drink it watch some teen mom too i'm gonna do whatever i'm gonna have me night i'm so excited but anyway thank you guys watching for this watching for this video thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos and i will see you in the next one